Coming up on AC247, the 46th president signs the Respect for Marriage Act into law, and we've got the latest from the White House and what this means for so many communities, plus vaccine fatigue, how the lingering effects of mass COVID vaccinations is having an impact on this flu season and the triple demic. And K-pop group BTS is one less member. Find out why. Hey there, welcome to AC247. I'm Lamont Baldwin. A historic milestone for President Joe Biden's administration. President Biden is expected to sign the Bipartisan Respect for Marriage Act on the South Lawn. It's a bill that protects the rights of Americans in same-sex and interracial relationships. There were concerns following the Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade back in June. The Advocate Channel's MJ Lee reports. Pride is back at the White House. A history-making day at the Biden White House. President Biden set to sign into law today a bill that mandates federal protection for same-sex and interracial marriages. Day one, this has been the most pro-equality administration in history. But this wasn't always his position. As senator, Biden had voted to block federal recognition of same-sex marriages and for years said that marriage should take place between a man and a woman. We already have a law, the Defense of Marriage Act, where we've all voted, not where I voted and others said, look, marriage is between a man and a woman and states must respect that. But then, in May of 2012, then-Vice President Biden rocking the country with this now-famous interview on NBC's Meet the Press. And you're comfortable with same-sex marriage now? I, I Look, I am Vice President of the United States of America. Um, the president sets the policy. I am absolutely comfortable with the fact that men marrying men, women marrying women, and heterosexual men and women marrying women are entitled to the same exact rights, all the civil rights, all the civil liberties. Those comments, which Biden subsequently described as unplanned, marked the first time he had publicly expressed support for same-sex marriage and clarified his years-long personal evolution on the issue, prompting then-President Barack Obama to stake out the same position several days later. For me personally, it is important for me to go ahead and affirm that uh, I think same-sex couples should be able to get married. He probably got out a little bit uh, over his skis, uh, but uh, out of generosity of spirit. The legislation passed on Capitol Hill last week with bipartisan support in both chambers. The motion is adopted. <laughs> Such a bill had seemed improbable for many in Washington not that long ago. Happy Pride! But the public push to pass federal protections for same-sex and interracial marriages intensified this year, after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. Justice Thomas said as much today. He explicitly called to reconsider the right of marriage equality, the right of couples to make their choices on contraception. Advocates of same-sex marriage celebrating the passage of that bill as a crucial milestone in American history. With the passage of the Respect for Marriage Act, we can put to rest the worries of millions of loving couples who are concerned that someday an activist Supreme Court may take their rights and freedoms away. You can think of it as reaching for the stars and catching one. The U.S. Department of Energy is expected to announce a breakthrough in nuclear fusion research. Experts say it could change the world. A whole lot of scientists are sounding downright giddy. They're excited about what could become a safe, abundant, and clean source of energy. Nuclear fusion. It involves combining atoms and it's what powers the sun, but here on Earth, scientists have struggled to get more energy out of the reactions. A source says the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California figured it out. It's taken decades of research around the globe to reach this point, but experts say it could take years more. Despite the threat of a triple threat of viruses swirling in the U.S., vaccination rates are down. 
Among the potential threats is the flu, which health officials say arrived earlier than usual this season. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services says it would like to have 70% of Americans get a flu shot by the end of the decade. However, less than 50% of the U.S. has gotten an annual flu shot over the last 10 years. Officials say vaccine fatigue is a factor and that some people have let their guard down since the end of the pandemic. COVID-19 boosters are also falling. Less than one out of every seven eligible for a booster shot have rolled up their sleeves. It took about five years, but Taylor Swift has finally shaken off a copyright infringement lawsuit over Shake It Off. The two songwriters sued Swift back in 2017, claiming she'd stolen their lyrics for their 1998 hit song. Swift denied the allegations, and now both sides have agreed to end the suit. No word on the terms of any settlement between the parties. Now, K-pop supergroup BTS is one member less for now. Jin is the first of the all-male group to take on South Korea's mandatory military service. The singer debuted a new look online, having chopped off his recognizable locks for a new regulation hairstyle. The Advocate Channel's Paula Hancock has the latest. He is exchanging five-star hotels around the world for military barracks just south of the DMZ, the demilitarized zone between North and South Korea. Jin, this Tuesday, officially became the first member of the pop sensation BTS to start his military service. At about quarter to two this Tuesday afternoon, we saw a convoy of some six black vehicles uh, heading into this military barracks, and there was significant security around. He is believed to have been part of that. Now, they had asked the management company and also BTS and Jin that fans uh, known as the army do not actually come to see him off. There were a few here, though, and I met one, Mandy, from Hong Kong, who'd flown in especially to say goodbye. We are here to uh, want to see Jin go into the military mm -hmm. and wait him and wish him all the best and stay safe and healthy. And we will wait him the, night, uh, the 18 months. Jin will now spend five weeks at this military base for the, uh, the basic training of this mandatory service. Now, this is required of all able-bodied men uh, up until the age of 28. They have to spend between 18 and 21 months in this mandatory service. For Jin, though, he was able to defer until 30 because there had uh, been a law passed just a couple of years ago that anyone who excelled in popular culture or art could do so and, and certainly it's fair to say that BTS ticked that box. Now there are some professional athletes for example who have won a medal at the Olympics or a gold medal at the Asian Games and also some classical artists who have been exempted. There are rules for that and they do some kind of community service instead. There has been tremendous debate before Jin went into the military barracks as to whether or not BTS should be exempted as well. But it is not the case and there will be seven of them in all that will be carrying out this uh, mandatory service and of course many others uh, around Korea. We saw uh, families saying goodbye to young men here. There was one 20 year old who was also uh, named Jin who said he was nervous but also excited to be entering at the same time as Jin. Yes, I'm a fan, and if I get to share the dorm with them, it'd be really special. Now, we did speak to someone who had experienced their mandatory service in this barracks behind me. They said it is particularly brutal because it is so far north, especially during the winter. It can get as low as minus 30 degrees Celsius, and it said it really taught him to hate snow. So this is not the easiest of places to do the basic training. Paula Hancock's CNN, Yangcheon, South Korea. Hey there, thank you for joining us for AC247. For content that advocates for you, go to advocatechannel.com, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and subscribe on YouTube. For the Advocate Channel, I'm Lamont Baldwin.